One ball, two strikes. Bottom of the first inning. Miguel Cairo's on deck. And now the pitch by Martinez is up and in and hits Gerald Williams on the left hand or wrist. Gerald, while now he's going to charge them out. He's going to charge Martinez, and the fight is on. He got a right hand in before he's grabbed from behind by Baratek, and now the benches are empty, and there is a pile up on the mound, and the fight continues under the pile. We can't see who's doing what, but players are being thrown about away from the pile, and it looks as though somebody, it looks like... Uh, one of the Boston Red Sox players hurt his left wrist or hand. The pile is still going on, and punches are still being thrown to the left of the mound. And now Roberto Hernandez pushes the injured Boston Red Sox player. It looked like Brian Dabak was thrown from the pile and landed on his elbow or his wrist. And as he, oh, he is in tremendous pain out towards second base. So Gerald Williams now is out of the pile on the periphery. His shirt tail out. The uh, shirt opened up wide, and now Jim Rice is trying to shield him away, the Red Sox hitting instructor. Gerald was so angry being hit, and he is telling Rice to get away from me. And now manager Larry Rothschild was talking with, with Tim McClellan, and now McClellan goes and grabs Williams, who pulls away from the umpire on the first base side. And here comes Greg Vaughn to try and calm down his buddy. But Williams is still incensed being hit by Pedro Martinez. And after taking a few steps down toward first base, staring at Martinez all the time, he charged the mound and the fight was on. Well, Williams is not going to go uh, quietly. quietly or easily here. I've never seen a player who's been ejected refuse to leave the field. But I think he's going to need to be escorted. And uh, Gerald Williams continues to resist leaving the field. Uh, Cardinal puts his left hand on Gerald in the chest and say, well, come on, there's nothing we can do. You have to leave. You've been ejected. And now Gerald reluctantly, believe me, it is uh, the last thing he wants to do, leave the field of play, leave the battle here. But he is going to give way. And on the replay, they're trying to see who grabbed Brian Daubach. Daubach is on the bottom of the pile as we're looking at this now. And it looks like he's just trying to get out of, get out of harm's way as he scrunches and pulls his body away and it was it was Roberto Hernandez who grabbed him and fired him back and Dabak landed on his elbow Dabak landed on his left elbow and Hernandez is following Dabak or followed Dabak pointing at him and yelling at Dabak who was holding his elbow in pain